when you say say AC, no? so kapag AC, it means alternating current, no? So AC, so that stands for alternating current. Kasi may dalawang klaseng current tayo, no? Sa ating, uh, sa ating system, no? So for the first one, no? Na natapos na natin i-discuss uh, two weeks ago is the... DC, no? Or direct current. So, constant ang kanyang polarity. So, which means the 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 polarity stays the same, no? Throughout the duration of the, ano, the travel of the current, no? Kunyari, ang kanyang polarity is positive-negative, so it maintains as positive-negative through the whole duration. Habang yung alternating current naman, or AC, changing in polarity. So, if you are going to have the phasor diagram or yung graph ng ating AC at DC, yung uh, DC, okay, yung DC, yan, ito yung ating phasor diagram, no? or ating graph ng ating current. So, ang DC, constant. No? So, the, the direction of current is a straight line. So, for example, this is 1 ampere. So, this is 1 ampere throughout after, kunyari, 5 seconds. No? This is our time, no? the duration of the whole um, travel of the current, 5 seconds. So, the, the, the graph is a straight line. So, constant ang kanyang polarity. While this uh, AC naman, kapag AC, okay. So, for example, this is our 5 amperes. So, meron din tayo ditong negative 5 amperes. So, ang AC, ang kanyang graph is ganito. Yan. So, we call this graph as alternating uh, graph or the sine wave na graph. No? So, meron tayong dalawang voltage no? dito. Ah, dalawang peak. Dalawang peak na value. For this one, 5 amperes. Habang dito ni man is negative 5 amperes. So, as you can see, nag-change ang kanyang polarity at by instances din na ang kanyang value is going back to zero. No? So, yan yung alternating current. Okay. Then we have the AC circuit, uh, AC circuit and power. So the fundamental of um, AC wave, no, or the sinusoidal AC wave. So, ito yung graph ng ating AC, no, is either that is a voltage or a current graph. So ito. So meron tayong EM. So yung EM natin, no. So yung EM. So that is our a sub m so that is our amplitude no amplitude so yung meron tayong positive at negative amplitude so may other term din diyan ang tawag na yan din ating peak no peak or could say that that is our highest no highest value of our ac wave no so, itong AM. So, merong positive at negative peak value, no? So, ito, ito yung formula dito. That is theta. So, theta is the angle, no? The, the angle of our uh, sinusoidal wave, no? That is equal to um, EM, the amplitude, times the sine theta. Or we could have that one as in terms of Y. Then, yung Y natin is in terms of time. So, meron tayo dito. EM is equal to sine omega t, where our omega is equal to 2 pi f. So, yung f, so that is our frequency. Ang unit ng frequency is hertz, no? So, sa ating AC system, because we are using 230 volts AC system, ang ating frequency is equal to 60 hertz. No? So, yan yung ating frequency. For, for the Philippines, 60 hertz tayo. Meanwhile, in the US, so 50 hertz. Tapos, uh, sa Japan nata, no? sa Japan is 50 hertz. So, sa atin, 60 hertz yung ginagamit natin na frequency.
A. So, period, no, period is the reciprocal of our frequency. So, it is the time needed in seconds to produce one cycle. So, ang one cycle, ito yung one cycle. Ito, isang buong up and down. So, this is one cycle. Ang time, no, ang number of seconds na kung saan itong isang up and down ay nagagawa. So, that is our period. In, in a sense, yung period natin, T, is just the reciprocal of our frequency. So, T is equals to 1 over F. The next, we have the wavelength. No? So, wavelength is the, lay, is the length of the alternate, alternating wave for one complete cycle. No? So, kunyari ito. So, ang kukunin natin na length is ito, buong wave na to Yan. Ano ang length niyan? If ever we'll have that one in, uh, i-stretch natin as a straight, no? Straight. So, ito yung ating wavelength, no? Ang symbol niyan is lambda, ito, no? So, the formula for wavelength is ito, no? So, lambda is equal to V sub C over F, no? Wherein the, the, the V sub C is the velocity of the wave, no? Yan yung velocity ng wave. Tapos, yung ano naman, yung, yung F natin is the frequency. Now, for, um, for electricity, our V sub Z is um, approximately equivalent to the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. No? So, yan yung ating gagamitin na velocity. So, ang uh, this is constant. So, ang wavelength na lang is magbabago depending on the frequency of our AC wave. Okay. So, ito, may natin example dito. So, what is the wavelength? Ano ko muna? Pakihan ko muna yung fun. Okay. So, what is the wavelength of a carrier wave with a frequency of 100 megahertz? No? Okay, solution. So, we need to find the wavelength. Tapos, ang given sa atin is frequency. So, 100 megahertz. No? Okay, or mega that is equal to 100 times 10 to the power of 6. No? Kapag mega uh, hertz. Okay. Tapos, yung ating velocity dito of our wave. So, this is a carrier wave. So, yung wave na uh, used to transmit signals, no? Especially on radio station. So, that is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. So, that is the speed of light. So, using our formula, so we have lambda is equals to V sub C over F. So, meron tayong... Um, 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second over 100 times 10 to the power of 6 hertz. No? So, using our calculator, so we have 3 times 10 to the power of 8. Then, divide 100 to the power of Six times ten to the power of six. Okay, so yung answer natin is three, no? Three, and the unit for that is meters. So the answer dito is three meters. Okay, next we have the values of our AC wave. So we have first the average value of an AC wave. So that is the arithmetic average or the mean. So yung average ng ating AC wave, no? Average ng kanyang mga values. So if you are going to get the values of all of these ones, so 0 dito, kunyari 1 ampere, 2 ampere, 3 ampere. If we are going to get the average value of that one, so we are getting the average value of our AC wave. No? So, the, the formula po that one, para hindi tayo mahirapan na i-add lahat ng mga values dito, is this one. No? So, the average value of the AC wave is equal to 0 
times the amplitude or the peak value of our AC wave. Then we have the RMS value you know, or the root mean square value of an AC wave. So it is defined as the square root of the average of the squares of the given quantity taken over a period of time. Oh, so that is RMS squared or this is the the value which we are going to get if we are going to measure you know, our AC wave. So this is that is equivalent to 0 0.707 times the amplitude of our AC wave. No? So for example, we have a 600 volt peak, uh, voltage peak or VP. So ibig sabihin nun, 600 volts ang kanyang peak voltage. No? So that is our amplitude. If we are going to get the RMS value and the average value, so we just use the formula for the average value. So that is 0 0.636 times the amplitude. No? So, ating given, yung ating amplitude is 600. So, we have 0 0.636 times 600 volts. So, our average value now of our AC voltage, no? so, calculate natin yan, 0 0.636 times 600. So, that is equal to 381.6. No? So, 300 81.6 volts habang the RMS value so this is equal to 0 0.07 times the amplitude no so we have 0 0.707 times 600 volts okay so meron tayong okay so we have 0 0.707 times 600 so this is equal to 424.2 no? 424.2 volts no? so as you can see mas malaki yung RMS value compared to our average value no? ng ating AC wave okay then we have in phase and out of phase wave. No, in phase waves, no AC wave the in phase, those are waves that occur at the same time. So pareho sila ng starting at end, no. Kaya tataw siya in phase. The same yung kanyang phase, the same ang kanyang starting at ending. Habang yung out of phase naman as shown by this graph, so D, the, uh, D does not occur at the same time. So sa graph natin, siguro pareho ang kanilang amplitude. As you can see, level ang kanilang peak. No? Level ang kanilang peak value. But their starting point is not the same. So mayroon tayo kanilang tinatawag dito. Ito. Mayroon na silang gap dito. So ito, natawag na itong phase angle. No? Phase angle. So ang ibig sabihin nun, yung kanilang distance na out of phase yung dalawang wave no at at um at kadalasan yung phase angle yan yung nagiging natawag nating ano tawag nating power factor no between the two waves kung yari the this uh, the phase angle between the current and the voltage the ac current and the ac voltage so ang kanilang phase angle will will become the power factor of the system no okay next we have so what is the average uh, the RMS and average of so the AC voltage if the peak voltage is 230 volts no? so katulad tong kanina no? so madali lang to no? so we have um, RMS is equal to uh, 0.707 times the peak or the amplitude so 0.07 ang peak natin dito is 230 volts no? so, times 230 volts so we have uh, 0 0.707 times 230. Okay, so that is equivalent to 162.61. No? So 162.61. Habang yung isa naman, yung average, no? so that is 0 times the amplitude so 0 0.636 times 230 volts okay so we have 
0.636 times 230 so equal to 146.28 so 146.28 volts no Okay, so now we will go to reactants. No? So, ito na yung pinaka-highlight ng, ano, ng ating discussion for the, this evening. So, reactants and impedance and the circuit, no? AC circuit power of our AC system. Okay, so in a DC circuit, meron tayo tinatawag na resistance. Wherein the resistance is the total opposition to the flow of DC current. No? Kaya natawag natin yung yung ano yung yung AC ay yung uh, yung ating resistance ay siya yung pumipigil sa ating current no that is on a DC circuit then if we have a if uh, yung ating ano yung ating resistance so uh, we have the the passive element which is the the resistor which is the main no main na uh, source ng ating resistance If you are going to connect an inductor, yung inductor naman ang 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 ginagawa niya is um, nag uh, nag-i-store siya ng electrical energy sa kanyang magnetic field, no? Habang yung capacitor naman if you are going to connect a capacitor on a uh, on a um, DC circuit, no? So yung charge is uh, na store doon sa kanyang electric field no but if yung resistor capacitor at inductor is kinonek na natin in an AC supply so um, the three of them opposes the flow of current so yung yung uh, yung sa resistance so ang ang tawag pa din natin doon is resistance no for the resistor habang for the inductor and the capacitor ang tawag natin diyan is reactance so we have two type of reactance depending on what uh, passive element ang nagcreate ng reactance either that is an inductor or a capacitor kapag inductor ang tawag natin is inductive reactance given by this formula So, XL, so yung symbol ng reactance is X. Kapag may L, ibig sabihin yan inductive reactance. No? It is equivalent to 2 pi times the frequency of the system times the inductance. No? inductance. Habang itong XC, so reactance tapos sub Z, ang tawag dyan is capacitive reactance. No? Which is, which is given by the formula 1 over 2 pi f no? frequency is again the frequency of the system times our c which is the capacitance so ang unit ng ating capacitance is farad habang ang unit naman ng inductance is henry so ito talagang mahalaga to sa ano, na formula kasi kadalasan when it comes to AC circuit the usual questions are coming from the reactance, the impedance, and the resonant frequency no? uh, sa nakaraan na board uh, exam. So, it is very important na alam nyo itong formula na to. Okay. So, we will have an example no? para ma-apply natin yung formula. Okay. So, we need to determine the reactance of a 50 microfarad capacitor at 60 hertz no at 60 hertz so we ang given natin is a capacitor so therefore we will be looking for the capacitive reactance no so getting the formula for the capacitive reactance okay so ano yung formula ng capacitive reactance ito xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi f no so yan yung ating formula for the capacitive reactance 
So, ang gagawin natin is to solve for this one, no? So, xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi fc. So, yung given natin, meron tayong c, the capacitor, which is equivalent to 50 microfarad. We're in uh, 50 microfarad, so that is equivalent to 50, yung micro that is times 10 to the power of negative 6, tapos farad, no? that is for the unit of our capacitance. Habang yung ating frequency, so yung my hertz, so that is 60 hertz. So, ang gagawin natin is just to substitute. So, we have 1 over 2 pi Fc. So, 1 over 2 pi times the frequency, 60 hertz. Okay. Times the capacitive reactance of 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Para, no? Times the capacitance. Para. Okay. So, ilipat na natin itong 1. Yan. So, using our calculator, so we have 1 over 2 shift pi times 60 times 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6. No? So, we have 53.05. So, we have 53.05. So, ano ang unit ng capacitive reactance or ano ang unit ng reactance? So, either that is an inductive or capacitive reactance, the unit for that one is ohms. So, therefore, sa ating answer, we'll have this one as 53.05 ohms. So, yan yung ating answer. Okay. Siguro, ano, i-share ko na lang yung screen ko na may na nakikita din yung, ano, calculator. Yata kita yung, ano, calculator sa isang screen. Yan, siguro. Yan, okay na siguro yan. So, para kita din yung ano, calculator, no? So, that you will also know uh, kung paano yun, ano, uh, ni-input sa ating calculator. Okay. Okay, next, we will go to other example, no? So, we need to determine so we need to we need to determine the reactance no? so parang na-highlight yata yung ano so we need to determine the reactance of a 2 milli henry so yung H henry yan inductor at 50 hertz so we are now um solving for the reactance of an inductor no so kapag inductor so going back so that will be an inductive reactance so ang hanapin natin is yung xl no so the formula natin so ito yung formula xl or inductive reactance is equal to 2 pi fl so xl So, XL is equal to 2 pi FL. No? So, we have our frequency given that is 50 hertz. Tapos, yung L natin, yan yung inductance. Yan yung may Henry. So, 2 milli Henry. So, yung milli that is 2 milli times 10 to the power of negative 3 Henry. Okay. So, substitute natin yan. No? 2 pi 50 hertz times 2 times 10 to the power of negative 3 Henry. Okay? So, using our calculator, so we have 2 shift pi times 50 times 2 so 
uh, times 10 raised to the power of negative 3. No? So, equal to 1 fifth pi. No? So, kapag inano natin to gusto rin yung fraction, so ito lang SD. No? And we will have 0 point, so at least to, to this one places ang tayo, no? 0 point 63. No? So, 0 point 0 point 63 ohms. So, that is our inductive reactance. Okay. Next. So, we need to determine the inductance of an inductor to have the same reactance as to a 100 microfarad at 100 hertz. Okay. So, kailangan natin uh, kunin yung value ng inductance ng isang inductor para equal ang kanyang uh, equal ang kanyang um, reactance no kapag uh, equal ang kanyang reactance sa uh, isang 100 microfarad na 100 microfarad na capacitor no kasi yung farad capacitor yan no is unit for the capacitance abang kanang frequency is 100 hertz no okay so ang gagawin natin una dito is kukunin natin kung ano yung reactance if we are considering the capacitor. So, kukunin natin una is the capacitive reactance. No? So, Xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi Fc. No? So, yung C natin is 100 microfarad. Tapos, yung ating frequency is 100 hertz. No? So, ang gagawin natin is sa so, dito natin to Yung micro, that is 100 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So, um, mamaya sa pag-input natin sa calculator nito, so, iaano ko kung paano to i-input yung times 10 to the power of negative 3. No? So, getting first the capacitive reactance, so, we have 1 over 2 pi Yung F natin is 100 Hz. Okay. Habang yung ating kapasit uh, kapasitance is 100 times 10 to the power of negative 6 Farad. No? Okay. So, i-substitute na natin yan. No? Or i na natin. So, we have 1 over 2 shift pi times 100 tapos times so may natin yung 100 dito 100 microfarad so 100 tapos ang sunod is times 10 to the power of negative 6 no so sa calculator na gamit ko meron tayo dito times 10 to the power of x so itong button na to na nasa baba no so, sa, sa baba ng calculator, meron tayong limang button yung nasa gitna. That is times 10 to the power of x. No? So, yan yung i-click nyo. If your calculator is not the same as mine, yung Casio, no? yung ibang model ng Casio, ang nakalagay dito sa button na to is EXP. No? EXP yung nakalagay. So, yan yung i-press nyo. So, lalabas yung times 10. Tapos, yung negative 6. So, yan na lang. Minus, i, -i I-input nyo lang minus tapos number na 6. No? So, meron na, ka, meron na kayong 100 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Tapos, equal. So, you have 15.92 ohms. No? So, you have 15.92 ohms. So, yan yung value ng ating capacitive reactance. Na dapat, ito rin yung value ng ating inductive reactance. No? So, ang value ng ating inductive reactance is equal to 15.92 ohms. No? 15.92 ohms. So, kailangan nating maghanap ng inductance at kapag kinuha natin yung reactance niya at 100 hertz, yung kanyang inductive reactance is equal to 15.92. No? 
So, using the formula, so XL is equal to 2 pi FL. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung, mat yung, yung matitira sa part na ating formula dito sa side nito is yung L lang. So, itong 2 pi at yung F, nilipat natin sa kabila. Kapag nilipat natin sa kabila, kasi ito nasa taas, pagdating sa kabila, pupunta sila sa ibaba. So, we have 2 pi F is equal to L. So, sa itong paraan, we can now solve for our inductance. No? Yung ating XL, inductive reactance, that is 15.92 ohms. Habang yung ating uh, 2 pi, tapos frequency natin is 100 hertz. So, meron na tayong inductance. Okay, so using our calculator, so we have 15.92 over 2 shift pi times 100. So, equals. So, meron tayong 0 0.025, no? Okay. So, L is equal to 0 0.025 Henry, no? So, meron, meron instances na hindi ito yung binibigay na unit. Merong mili. Kaso lang yung ano nyo is nakahenry ito kasi. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, you just press this one, ing. Yung ing na function ng calc you. No? Ito, ing. So, kapag, kapag pinis nyo yan, so may nalabas na 25.33 kaso dito sa dulo meron ng times 10 to the power of negative 3. So, itong times 10 to the power of, of negative 3 mili yan. So, we could have that one as 25. No? 25.3 tapos times 10 to the power of negative 3. So, yun yung mili. Mili Henry. So, kapag yung given na unit sa choices is mili. So, ito yung sagot. No? Okay. Next, we will go to impedance. No? So, impedance, kapag ating uh, pinagsama lahat ng ating uh, opposition to the flow of current sa AC circuit, so, including the resistance and the reactance, so, we will have the term impedance, no? So, when we say pinagsama or the combined effect, so, hindi yan siya basta-basta iba plus. So, we are going to get the resultant, no? Tawag dyan is resultant. So, the formula for that one is ito. Our, the symbol for our impedance is Z. So, that is equal to the square root of the resistance squared plus the inductive reactance minus the capacitive reactance squared. So, yan yung ating impedance. That is, the unit for impedance is ohm. No? So, if you are going to have ohm's law in an AC circuit, no? kasi yung ohm's law natin sa DC Ohm's natin sa DC is I over I, I is equals to E over R. No, yan yung ating Ohm's law. Pero, in a DC circuit, ito na yung ating Ohm's law. Wherein yung ating R is i-replace na natin ng Z, which, which stands for impedance. So, if we are going to get the total current in, an, in this AC circuit, no? so, ang kanyang total current is equals to E over Z. So, the AC circuit. Okay. So, example. What is the impedance of an AC circuit which has a resistance of uh, 8 ohms, an inductive reactance of 12 ohms, and a capacitive reactance of 6 ohms? Okay. Solution, no? So, ang kinakailangan lamang natin kunin dito is the impedance, no? So, meron tayong resistance, our R, which is equal to 8 ohms. Inductive reactance, which is XL yan, so 12 ohms. Habang yung capacitive, so XZ is equal to 6 ohms. So, the formula for this one is yung may square root, no? Ito, R squared plus XL minus XC squared. Okay. Solving for this one, so square root of R squared plus 
xl minus xc squared. No? So, meron tayong square root of yung r natin is 8 squared. Tapos, yung ating xl is 12 minus 6 squared. Okay. Then, we will have square root of 8 squared plus so 12 minus 6. So, 6. Tapos, may squared pa dito. Squared. Tapos, gagamitin na natin yung ating calculator. Okay? So, we have square root 8 squared plus 6 squared. Equals. So, meron tayong 10. No? 10 ohms. So, ang answer natin dito is 10 ohms. Okay, next. So, what is the impedance of a 200? Nata klaro kasi na highlight. So, what is the impedance of a 200 volt AC circuit which has a current of 10 amperes flowing? So, kukunin natin yung impedance. Okay, solution. So, alam natin by Ohm's law of an AC circuit. So, I is equals to E over Z. No? So, Kapag EC circuit, pwede natin gamitin yung ating Ohm's Law Triangle. I-re-replace lang natin yung ating R as Z. No? So, E, I, ito, R dapat dito. Pero nasa EC na tayo. Eh. So, ito magiging Z. No? Ang inahanap natin is impedance. So, yung Z. So, kapag hinahid natin ito. Yan. So, Z is equal to E over I no? E over I so sa given natin so yung ating E is equal to 200 volts habang yung ating I is equal to 10 amperes so we have 200 volts over 10 amperes so 200 divided by 10 okay? so that will be equal to 20 ohms so ito na yung ating impedance no? for our AC circuit. Okay, next. So, dito naman tayo sa power. No? So, in an AC circuit, we have three types of power. Meron tayong active, reactive, and apparent. No? So, yung active power, so the other term for active power, that is also our true power. So, that is the actual power rating or the actual power or the actual electrical energy consumed by our um, system. No? So, kaya ang unit ng ating uh, uh, reactive power is watt. No? So, the other term for that also is real power. No? So kaya watt. Yung ating reactive power, so that is... Uh, the, the power consumed by either our inductor or our capacitor. No? So, kaya tawag siyang reactive from the term reactance so reactive power. So, the unit for that is VAR. So, yung VAR stands for Volt Ampere Reactive. No? Volt Ampere Reactive. So, ibig sabihin ito, itong Volt Ampere na to is consumed by our reactances, either inductive or capacitive reactants. Habang yung S naman, no, that is the apparent power or or the term for or the unit for that is volt ampere, no? So that is the the power na kapag uh, kapag ginamit natin yung usual na formula for power which is voltage times the current, makukuha natin yung uh, yung uh, wattage kapag sa DC pero sa AC ang kukuha natin is volt ampere also all AC system no all AC system is rated using the apparent power kunyari yung transformer natin that is the the, rate, the rating for that one is kVA so kilo volt ampere so ang ibig sabihin ng volt ampere noon that is the capacity of the apparent power no sa so, ang ang ang, uh, ang represent noon is the apparent power no 
yung cosine theta no for this one to yung cosine theta this is the power factor no power factor so the power factor is sa sa sa, sa sinabi ko na kanina is the phase angle between the AC current and the ano the the AC voltage no sa power naman that is the the angle between our apparent power and the uh, the true power no as given by this triangle dito sa ano na sa figure na to yung sin theta no hindi yata nalagay itong sin theta okay yung sin theta that is the power factor or pf na reactive so that is the power factor in terms of our reactants no so uh, but in but in calculation so hindi na masyadong uh, nahanap yung ano yung power factor na reactive or sin theta na ang hinahanap lang is yung the true true power factor itong power factor na cosine theta so how to get the apparent power in terms of our true power and the reactive power so ito lang square root of the true power squared plus the reactive power squared so makukuha niyo na yung VA or the volt ampere or the apparent power. Meanwhile, the power factor is the ratio between, no? The ratio between the true power and the apparent power. So that is kung units ang ating i-consider. So ang ratio ng watts over volt ampere. Yan yung power factor ng system. Kung yare, uh, yung transformer is 50 kVA pero yung actual na 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 nagagamit ng ating load is only 30 watts. So 30 over 50 yan na yung magiging power factor ng ating system. So ganun lang kadali yung pagkuha ng ano, power factor, no? Okay. So example, no? So we have a current of 10 amperes and a power factor of 0 0.8 lagging is taking from a single phase 250 supply so the reactive power of the system is black so in hanap dito is the reactive power no so yung ating q so yung q yung hinahanap no to q okay solution okay so alam natin the the formula for uh Apparent power is equal to P squared plus Q squared. So, dito pa lang makukuha na natin yung ating Q. So, ang gagawin natin is square natin both sides. So, S is equal to uh, P squared. So, ito S squared pa to. Plus Q squared. So, kapag nilipat natin sa kabila, so magiging S squared minus P squared is equal to Q squared. So, kasi ito positive pag nilipat sa kabila, negative. I-square natin ang bawat side para makuha talaga natin yung Q. Okay. Square. Tapos ito din square. So, ito square root ng Q squared. So, Q na lang yan. Habang matitira dito is S squared minus P squared. So, para makuha natin ang Q, kailangan natin ng S, apparent power, at yung true power. So, nahin natin yung apparent power kasi yun yung medyo madali yung formula. That is voltage times the current only, no? So, S is equal to voltage times the current, no? So, given natin, our voltage is equal to 200 volts while our current is equal to 10 amperes. So, we have, and uh, yung voltage pala is to 50. No? To 50 pala to. Buti na lang, ano, agad kita agad 250 volts 25 no 250 so this is 250 times 250 volt times 10 amperes no so we have 250 times 10 okay so that will be equal to 25 no so s is equal to 25 va Habang yung P naman, that is voltage times the current times the power factor, no? So, yung power factor natin, as per given, 
So the power factor is equal to 0.8 lagging, no? So um yung yung lagging is ibig sabihin noon is mababa ang kanyang power factor, no? So the uh, the the voltage is is uh, the, the current is below the voltage, no? So ibig sabihin noon yung mismong yung mismong 50 kVA mo yung na, yung na yung nakoconsume lang na wattage niyan or true power niyan is 80% or 40 wa 40 kilowatts lang yung kanya na consume no so we have the voltage is 250 volts habang yung current is 10 amperes tapos 0 0.8 yung power factor okay so calculate natin yan so we have 250 times 10 times 0.8 okay so meron tayong 2000 no? so we have 2000 2000 watts no? okay so meron tayong wattage at apparent power no so, true power at apparent power. So, pwede natin gamitin dito sa ating formula. So, square root of ano yung ating ano, apparent. So, 2, 5 no? squared. Tapos, minus 2,000 squared. So, this is equal sa ating reactive power. So, pwede yung calculate natin. So, we have 2,5 squared minus 2,000 squared. Okay? So, we have 1,5. So, ating reactive power is equal to 1,500 bar. No? So, yan yung ating reactive power. So, we have three types of power factor. So, first, we have the unity power factor. So, dito yung PF natin is equal to 1. No? Tapos, yung ating power factor angle, yung theta, that is equal to 0. No? So, magkakaroon naman tayo ng unity power factor if our voltage and current are in phase. No? So, examples of uh, load na yung ating uh, power factor is unity is the incandescent lamp tapos yung electric fat, iron and water heaters so they are purely resistive so ibig sabihin yung kanilang uh, yung kanilang uh, binibigay sa ating circuit is purely resistance lang no? okay tapos na yung lagging power factor so the current lags the voltage by an acute angle no so yan yung ating lagging power factor ang example ng ating load kung saan nakakaroon tayo ng lagging power factor are the fluorescent lamp electric motors doorbell electric fan television set and air conditioning unit or these are the inductive load no so yung load na may inductance. So, ang pinaka-common talaga is the electric motors. No? So, if your system has uh, many electric motors, nangyayari yung ating uh, power factor is nagiging lagging. No? Tapos, minuto yung leading power factor. So, the current leads the voltage by an acute angle. So, example ng mga loads na nagbibigay ng leading power factor is the capacitor or the capacitive load and the synchronous motor no so in a substation ang ginagamit para mapataas yung ating power factor kung yari yung power factor natin is lagging so ang ginagamit para tumaas yan is yung mga capacitor or the capacitor bank because the capacitor will give a leading power factor okay ito no so what is the power factor of a 300 watt load which yeah, which is connected no? which is connected on a two phase 220 volt line and draws uh, 13.53 amperes no? and I have that is a power factor no? so solution ok so the uh, 
i-power natin dito kasi itong phase yan, no? So, may yung sa single phase, ito lang, voltage times the current times the power factor. Pag single, no? single phase. Kapag two phase, so, meron na yung two voltage times the current times the power factor. So, this is for uh, two phase, no? Or double phase na system. Okay. So, solving now for our power factor. So, we have power factor. So, ito lahat, hindi pa rin sa kabila. So, power factor, a uh, power is equals to 2 times E times I. So, that will be our power factor. So, substituting the given. So, we have 300 watts over 2. Tapos, yung ating voltage is 220 volts. Tapos, meron tayong 13.53 amperes. So, yan na yung ating power factor. Okay? So, solution. So, i-calculate natin ito, no? Okay. So, we have 3,000 watts tapos 2 times 220 times 13.53. So, we have 0.5, uh, 0 0.50, no? 0 0.50. So, our power factor is equivalent to 0 0.50 no? for this example, no? Okay, next we have admittance. So, ang admittance is the reciprocal, no? Or kabaliktara ng ating kapasitance, no? So, that is y is equals to 1 over z, no? where y is the admittance, no? ang unit niya is uh, Siemens or Mo, then z is our impedance. So, kunyari, our, our z is equal to 5 ohms. No? So, getting the admittance, so that is 1 over z or 1 over 5. No? A unit is Siemens. Okay. Next, we have resonance. No? What is resonance? So, resonance is a circuit phenomenon wherein the circuit power is unity. So, ibig sabihin nun, if our circuit is in resonance, our power factor is equal to 1. Or the power factor angle is equal to 0. No? So, the ang, ang way for us to get a a, a Resonance in a circuit is to have our or to get our our FR or the resonant frequency, no? Because ano yari dan equal na yung ating reactive at yung ating at ating inductive at capacitive reactance. Kapag equal yan, nagka-cancel silang dalawa, so ang ang natitira na lang is a purely resistive load no? or a purely uh, uh, pure na resistance yung natitira sa ating system. Kapag pure resistance yung load natin, ang nangyayari is the power factor is equal to 1 or unity power factor. No? Katulad dito kanina. Ito, PF is equal to 1. Yung load natin are purely resistive load. No? So, to get the resonant frequency, so that is equal to 1 over 2 pi, 2 pi is square root of L times C, no? So, that is the formula, no? Yung FR natin, that is the resonant frequency in Hertz. Yung L natin is inductive or the inductance in Henry and yung C natin is capacitance which is in Farad. Okay. So, ito. What should be the, capac the capacitance of a capacitor to have a resonant frequency of 60 Hertz with a 30 Henry inductor? So, dito ang inahanap natin is the value of the capacitance. No? So, solution. So, yung ating induct, uh, yung ating yung ating resonant frequency is 60 hertz. No? So, given na yung ating resonant frequency. Yung ating inductance naman is 30 Henry. Yung hinahanap natin is the capacitance. So, yung farad. No? So, by the formula, so, FR 
is equals to 1 over 2 pi square root of L times C. No? So, gagawin natin is um, square muna natin yung both sides kasi may square root dito. Sa baba. So, we have FR squared is equal to 1 over 2 pi squared. So, ito square root. Mawawala na to. So, magiging L C na lang yan. So, hinahanap natin is yung C. So, itong C, ilipat natin sa kabila. No? Para maging C na lang dito. C. Habang yung FR naman, ilipat natin dito. So, baba. No? So, we have 1 over 2 pi squared FR squared tapos times L. No? So, ito yung formula kapag ang hinahanap natin is the capacitance given the resonant frequency. No? So, we have 1 over 2 pi squared. Yung ating frequency is third, uh, 60 hertz. No? 60 hertz squared. Tapos, yung ating uh, inductance is 30 henry. Okay, squared. So, kukuha na natin ngayon yung ating capacitance. So, we have 1 over 2 shift pi squared tapos 60 squared times 30 squared so equals so 7.82 no? so ito 9 no? so times the power of negative 9 so that is nano no? So, 7.82 times 10 to the power of negative 9 farad or 7.82 7 nano farad. No? So, para um, ma-familiarize kayo sa mga SI, SI prefixes, so search nyo lang dun sa Google, no? SI prefixes, no? yung nano that is times 10 to the power of negative 9. Ang next nito, times to the power of negative 12. So, that will be pi ko. Yung symbol niya is more, uh, small letter phi, uh, P. No? Small na letter P yung symbol. Okay. Next. So, we'll go now to three-phase system. So, the voltage and current relationship and a three-phase balance system. No? Kapag Y connected, so Y ang kanyang ano, itsura ng kanyang system or the connection. So, yung ating line current, so ito yung line current natin. So, yung current na papunta sa load. So, that is equal to the phase current, yung I sub T ito. So, kaya, line current is equal to uh, phase current. So, that is for Y connection. Yung voltage naman, yung phase voltage ito, yung phase voltage, Ito naman yung line current. So, from line 1, line 2, line 3. So, kapag nag-testing tayo dito, so, makukuha natin yung ating line voltage. So, the line voltage is equal to square root of 3 sa ating phase voltage. No? Okay? So, yan yung kanyang, ano, kanyang formula for the uh, voltage no? and current relationship of a 3 phase uh, system, no? Three phase balance system, Y connection. Okay. So, so yung ating ano, uh, line voltage equal to the square root of three ng ating ano, phase voltage no? ng ating system. Okay, next. And we have for ito, no? So we have a Y connected load has 5 ohm impedance per phase and is connected across a 120 volt 3 phase source, no? Calculate the line current. So ang hinahanap dito natin is the line current of our system, no? Okay. So solution, no? Okay. 
So, meron tayong ang uh, Y connected system, no? Okay. So, i-drawing muna natin yung ano, uh, equivalent circuit diagram niya. Okay. So, meron tayo dito ang line 1, line 2, line 3. Now, the voltage across the three phase system. So, kasi balance yung ating ano dito assumption. So, this is 120 volts. So, this is the line voltage. Habang yung voltage per phase niya or impedance per phase dito 5 ohms. No? 5 ohms. So, we need to get the line current. As we know, kapag Y connected siya na system, equal lang yung kanyang line current sa phase phase current. So, the line current is just equal to the phase current. No? So, kailangan natin isolve yung phase current. For us to solve the phase current, so this is equal, no, using Ohm's law, to the phase voltage over the impedance. Nating given, yung impedance natin is 5 ohms. Pero, wala tayong phase voltage. But, we could get our phase voltage kapag gagamitin natin itong uh, line voltage no kasi yung ating line voltage is equal yan sa 3 square root of 3 ng ating phase voltage no? so kapag ulit tayo natin to our phase voltage is equal sa line current as a line voltage divided square root of 3 no so, meron tayong 120 volts. So, yan yung ating line voltage. Divide square root of 3. No? So, 120 over square root of 3. This is equal to 69.28. No? 69.28. So, our phase voltage is equal to 69.28 volts. No? So, isolution natin to. So, 69.28 volts over our impedance which is equivalent to 5 ohms. No? So, meron na tayo a 69.28 by 5. That is equal to 13.856 or 86 na lang mo po ito 86. So, 13.86 amperes. Yan yung ating phase current na equal din sa ating line current. Yan yung ating answer. 13.86 Ampers. Okay. Next, we will go to delta connected, no? So delta connected system, no? So sa delta connected system, as per diagram, okay. So yung ating line voltage equal yan sa ating phase voltage, no? Kapag nag-measure tayo dito may measure din natin yung ating phase voltage. So, the line voltage is equal to the phase voltage. Habang yung ating phase current naman at yung ating line current. So, the line current is equal sa 3 phase, uh, square root of 3 ng ating phase current. No? So, line current is equal to the square root of 3 times our phase current. So, yan yung kapag delta connected system. So, balik tayo siya sa Y, no? Kapag sa Y, equal ang kanyang current, no? Phase current is equal to line current. Tapos, yung phase, ay uh, yung line voltage is equal to square root of 3 ng phase voltage. Habang sa delta naman, equal ang kanilang mga voltages, no? Line voltage is equal to phase voltage. Habang ang line current is equal to the square root of 3 of the phase 
current. Okay, so the phase current of a delta connected load is 20 amperes at 1 kVA. No? So ito yung phase current niya. What is the line to line voltage and the current? Okay. So solution. Okay. So dito so meron tayo dito ito delta, no delta connected system. Okay. So ang kanyang phase current, no? is equal to 20 amperes no? habang ang kanyang kVA no? or the apparent power is equal to 1 kVA or it is equal to 1000 volt ampere no? so ang gagawin natin dito is we will get the line voltage no? IL natin tapos ito yung ating phase uh, yung ating ano yung ating voltage no? or the line voltage no? so the line yung sa ating uh, sa ating line current because our line current is equal to square root of 3 of our phase current so square root of 3 times 20 amperes no so, meron tayong square root of 3 times 20. So, this is equal to 34.64. So, our line, line current is 34.64 amperes. Now, the question is, paano natin kukunin yung ating uh, yung ating yung ating line voltage no so kapag apparent power for three phase so that is equal to square root of 3 times the line voltage times the line current so meron tayong line current meron din tayong apparent which is 1000 so itong dalawang to yung square root of 3 at yung IL inipat na ito sa kabila no so S is uh, over square root of 3 times IL then we have here our line voltage. So substituting, we have 1000 VA over square root of 3 times 34.64 amperes times. So yung IL nat uh, yung IL natin is ano pa? Kena pa 34.64. Okay. So we could now get our line voltage. No? Okay, so that is equal to 1000 over square root of 3 times 34.64. Okay, so equals 16.64. Uh, 16.67 okay. so our current our line voltage is 16.67 volts so that is our line voltage which is also equivalent to our um, line current no? uh, uh, phase current para, no? phase current sa power in a three phase circuit. So ito yung ginamit ko kanina, no? So yung sa apparent power, no? If given our own phase voltages, no? So for true power, siguro na yung 3 times the phase current times the phase voltage times the power factor or the cosine theta. Habang 
kapag ano naman, given yung line current, ang line voltage so square root of 3 times the line current times the line voltage times cosine theta. Kapag ano naman, uh, reactive power, so 3 times the phase current times the phase voltage sine theta. If line voltages and current voltages, so square root of 3 times the line voltage times the line current sine theta. For apparent power, so 3 times the phase voltage times the phase current or kapag mga line values, so line voltages and line current, so square root of 3 times the line voltage times the line current. So yun yung formula for power in a three-phase circuit. No? So ito. So what is the KVA rating of a three-phase generator designed to deliver 20 amperes at 220 volts no so if ito yung kanyang uh, statement designed to design to deliver so ibig sabihin ito output na tong dalawang to no 20 amperes at 220 volts so meaning our 20 amperes and 220 so the 20 amperes and the 220 are all line values yung ating 20 amperes that is our line current habang yung ating at 220 volts that will be our line voltage no ang kukunin natin is the KVA rating or the apparent power so S is equal to square root of 3 E sub L I sub L no? because itong ginamit yung square root of 3 kasi yung given na value are line voltages so we have square root of 3 times 20 amperes times 220 volts no so we have square root of 3 times times 20 times 220 yeah so we have 7621 no 7621 VA pero yung hinihingi KVA so kilovolt yan, kilovolt ampere so i-divide natin ng 1000 so we will have 7.621 kVA so, ito na yung ating answer ok next example how many kilowatts does a 3 phase generator supply when it is delivering 6 amperes at 220 volts to a power load operating at 80% power factor. So, dito naman sa problem, delivering na naman. So, meaning, itong, line, itong current natin at itong ating voltage are all line values or ito line current, ito line to line voltage. Okay. So, ang gahanapin natin is the kilowatt. No? The kilowatt, yung ano yung um, yung uh, output in kilowatt ng ating generator, no? Na kung saan yan yung ginagamit sa ating load, in which the load has an 80% power factor. Okay. Solution, no? Kasi ito ay watts, no? So, gamitin natin is P is equal to square root of 3 P sub L, I sub L cosine theta or pwede din ito cosine theta gawin na lang natin PF no? okay, PF so ibig sabihin PF power factor so our, our line voltage is 220 volts our line current is 60 amperes habang yung ating power factor so 80% siya so 0.8 so so na natin yan. So, we have square root of 3 times 220 volts times 60 amperes times 0 0.8 for the power factor. Okay. So, we have square root of 3 times 220 times 60 times 0.8 is equal to 18,290.5 no? so 
18,290.5 watts or 0.50 watts. So, kailangan kasi kilowatts. So, divide that one by 1,000 para maging kilowatts. So, divide 1,000. So, 18.3. No? So, 18.3. So, all power is equal to 18 18.3 kilowatts. So, ito na yung answer natin kasi yung hinahanap is in <coughs> kilowatts. Okay. Next. Ito. So, a balanced three-phase load grows 75 uh, amperes line current at 220 volts line to line voltage. Line to line voltage. And 0 0.8 power factor lagging. Okay. So, solve the power, a reactive power being drawn by our system. No? Ito naman yung nahatap is yung, uh, yung reactive power or yung Q. No? So, paano natin kukunin yung Q? Okay. Solution. So, to get the Q, so, katawad ang uh, problem natin kanina, so, Q is equal to S squared minus P squared. So, kunin natin yung S at yung P. No? So, yung S natin. So, these are load line values. So, that is equal to square root of 3. Line voltage times line current. No? So, square root of 3 times 220 volts times... 75 amperes. Okay, so 220 volts. Tapos 75 amperes yung ating ano, line current, no? So, i-calcule lang natin yan. So, we have square root of 3 times 220 times 75. So, we have uh, 20, uh, 28,578.8 no? So, 28,578.8 volt ampere For our power naman So, meron tayong square root of 3 Line voltage Line current times our power factor So, we have square root of 3 times 220 volts times 75 amperes times 0 0.84 0 0.848 power factor okay so meron tayo square root of 3 times 220 times 75 times 8 0.848 okay so, 24,234.8 So, 24,234.8 This is in watts, no? So, ito sa ating formula So, sa pichot lang natin yung S at yung P natin So, we have 28,578.8 squared Minus 24,234.8 squared. So, kukuha na natin yung ating reactive power. So, we have 28,578.8 squared. Minus... 24,234.8 squared so equals so naman tayo 15,146.7 so 15,146.7 bar so ito na yung ating answer no? Okay, then we have the approximate, no? Approximate neutral calent in a three-phase four-wire system. No? So, kapag three-phase four-wire system, ibig sabihin yan, meron tayong neutral wire. 
so that is uh, the forward system is usually um, Y no Y system no Y yung kanyang configuration tapos yung neutral dito kinukuha sa gitna so we will be solving for the neutral current no so the formula is equal to square root of our individual line the the individual line currents tapos minus ng kanyang pair no pair na pair of 2 or the product of the pair of 2 of the three line voltages so this is usually done especially if our system is unbalanced no so kaya kinukuha natin yung ating neutral current because if our system is a balanced system the neutral system uh, the neutral current will just be equal to 0 no kasi kapag equal to lahat tapos ito equal din so magiging zero lang yung ating neutral current if the system is unbalanced so merong value yung ating neutral current dito no so ang ginagamit ng formula is ito no so for example ito so we have a three phase so what is a three uh, neutral current of a three phase for uh, for four wire no? for the four wire unbalanced system with line currents of uh, 5 amperes, 6 amperes, and 7 amperes respectively. No? So if we are going to draw the diagram for this one, or the system configuration. Tapos dito meron tayong neutral line. No? So ito yung ating I1, no? 5 amperes. Ito yung ating I2, which is 6 amperes. Tapos, dito yung ating I3, which is 7 amperes. Tapos, dito yung ating neutral current na ating hinahanap. So, IN is equal to square root of I1 squared plus I2 squared plus I3 squared. No? minus I1 times I2 minus I2 times I3 minus I3 times I sub 1 okay na natin yan. so we have our I1 is um, yung I1 natin is 5 amperes so 5 amperes squared yung I2 natin is 6 amperes so 6 amperes squared yung I3 naman is 7 amperes so squared minus I1 times I2 so, so 6 times 5 so 6 amperes yung ating I2 tapos I1 minus I2 so 6 times I3 7 minus I3 times I1 so 7 times 5 so makukuha na natin yung ating neutral current okay, so square root 5 squared plus 6 squared plus 7 squared minus 6 times 5 minus 6 times 7 Plus minus 7 times 5 okay, equals so square root of 3 no? Anyang answer for 1.73 so the neutral current is 1.73 amperes okay Yan lahat yung discussion for AC circuit. No? So, the very important lang in AC circuit is uh, like nung ano, last na board exam, no? the, the reactance, the impedance, and the resonance. Yan yung pinakamarami yung mabas. No? So, um, uh, uh, hindi naman safe to say na uh, malamang sa next nga exam is ganun din. But, if ever, so you must also uh, familiarize yung sa mga reactances impedances especially ang kadalasan talagang marami is the ano, power no? three phase power single phase power and two phase power no? 
itong mga neutral current tapos yung mga balanced delta system while uh, delta system so medyo bihiran to so siguro may isa or dalawang question na, na lalabas for the neutral current no so uh, minsan isa lang no minsan wala nga no so the most common talaga is the impedances no the impedances or hitting the power factor no given yung wattage given the line current given the line voltage we're going to get the power factor or getting the reactive power so tulad dito na no, sabi yung reactive power ito no so ito apparent power tapos ito yung ano yung um, true power tapos the reactive power no so these are very common no na na, la, na lalabas ang mga questions when it comes to AC circuit no of course hindi naman sa buong technical subject na puro AC no may included pa yung mga topics na na discuss natin yung sa DC at basic ohms law at the electrical components but the usual na mga questions is sa mga topic na yun no